I'm gonna sit here and do this for a while. <laughs> They're looking at me like I wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this week's video is all about skincare. So a few months ago I posted a video on my Instagram where I went through my skincare steps, not only for shoots and how I like to prep skin on set, but also kind of some of my favorite products and things that I like to do for my own skin. So I'm gonna add a few more steps in today and I hope you enjoy watching the video and you get a little bit of an insight into how to really, really prep your skin and make it perfect for your makeup look or your night out. So the first step is always to cleanse your skin. So I like to use a face halo pad to remove any dirt or makeup or build up um, from my face and they're really great because they're good for the environment. You can reuse them and they have these kind of micro fabrics that really help pull off any makeup and debris. So they're great if you just want to use some hot water day to day, but if you have a lot of makeup on or you've got a lot of skincare, you've been to the beach, you've been in a polluted area, I like to use a little bit of cleanser with my face halo and uh, one of my favorites at the moment is Drunk Elephant and this is a jelly cleanser. So it's a kind of clear gel um, and it's really good and really soft on the skin. So I'll use that with my face halo and it just kind of creates a really nice clean texture and removes all of your dirt but doesn't dry out your skin because that's really really important. I will then kind of move on to prepping my skin for massage and this is my favorite massage tool ever. This is a Chinese facial uh, massage tool and it's really great because it has these tiny little balls here that allow you to really like get into the kind of nooks and crannies of the face. You can get in between like the eyebrow bones and all of the areas of the face that really need to kind of be like worked at. Put a little bit of um, eye cream on because you tend to kind of you know, avoid the eye area so much when you're massaging. So I'm actually using this Young Goose Eye Care Serum. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on just while I kind of prep my skin. And then I will take something like a vitamin C because I think vitamin C should be your first step in any kind of skincare regime. You want that to be the thing that absorbs into your skin first. It's an antioxidant, anti-pollutant. It's so a vegan vitamin C and nicotinamide balancing and brightening serum by Hyesia. And uh, it's really lovely, um, it's loads, it's very generous. And I'm gonna just rub that into my face like pat it in like that and I'm gonna use this as the basis for my massage and then you want to go in and basically just work that tool around into the the nooks and the crannies of the face so you can get really nice and deep massage which is really really important and it just helps to like really drain any liquid from your uh, face which is especially important before makeup and before going out so anytime you kind of you know drain the face you don't want to bring it down the neck and that helps assist lymphatic drainage and then once i've done that i'm going to go in and tighten up the skin so you might have seen a lot of people using those ice rollers I'm going to use an apple because it's probably about 99% cheaper and just as good. So I put the apple in the freezer overnight. In the morning, I can just take it and roll it around my face and it's nice and cold. And I'm just going to roll it under my chin initially because you want to firm up the chin area. And I'm going to just kind of circulate it around my face. Next, I'm going to scrub my lips and I'm going to use one of these little lip scrubs. It's got two like funny bumpy sides, it's really good. And I'm gonna be using something I've made myself. This is literally coconut oil and sugar. I'm just gonna get some of it like that on the back. And I'm literally gonna spend a few minutes here just scrubbing my lips. This is actually from my kit. I've got about 10 million different uh, lip balms here. Everything from eight hour cream to nukes, Egyptian magic, Dr. Lip by Terry. What am I gonna go for? I'm gonna go for a bit of nukes, which has got uh, honey in it. Now I'm going to focus on my eye area. So I basically stopped uh, tweezering my eyebrows because I just terrified that my eyebrow hairs won't grow back. So I just use a little razor now, and this is just a little Revlon razor. So if I wanna tidy up any, uh, any brow areas, I just give it a little bit of a shave with the razor. And then 
I also use Revitalash, which is probably the best uh, eyelash growth serum that I've ever um, come across. And I just use it once a day. And then this product uh, is really, really great. It's a clarifying peel, and I use this at night because it contains uh, a AHA, BHA, and retinoid, so you kind of want to use anything with a retinol or retinoid at night and limit your sun exposure while you're doing it. Purge clogging debris from pores and smooth texture for clearer complexion. So what I'll do is I'll just take this at night once I've cleansed, put some on a cotton pad and I'll just rub that particularly around the areas that do get congested, so like chin, nose, T-zone. Um, and that's been great actually, I've been using it for a few weeks now and I really, really like it. So now just to take a pause from all of these oils and serums and whatever else, um, I'm gonna just give my face a quick spray of this Subtle Energies rose water and it's literally a 100% rose water, it smells so good. Um, and that's just a really nice hydration boost. So now I'm gonna go into my moisturizer and sun cream. So I'm gonna be using Barbara Sturm. And I've used Barbara Sturm for a while and I do really like her rich face cream. It's just a really nice moisturizing cream. And again, just pat that in or massage it into your face. And what I also like to do is to mix in a little bit of this, which is a Sicily Illuminating Base. Um, and it really is my favourite because it's um, it's just a really like nice, uh, very kind of it's got slightly gold tint to it, and I like to just like pat it onto my cheekbones and all the high points of my face. And then finally, I'm going to finish with this Cordely SPF 50. It's just another uh, SPF spray, so I just like to do the same thing. I'm gonna pat that into my face and just make sure that when you do use SPF, you make sure you're putting it into the eye area because that's really the area that most people forget. So that was my in-depth skincare video for you guys. I hope that you've taken something away from this video and obviously comment and let me know about anything else you want to see, anything else that I can go into a little bit more depth for you and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,